the science fiction film Everything Everywhere All at Once dominated this year's Academy Awards. Although the premise is grounded, the picture is one of the wildest of the year. In it, Michelle Yeoh learns early on that, to prevent a multiversal apocalypse, she must connect with different versions of herself from parallel dimensions. Michelle's escapades are fantastical and fictional, of course, but the multiverse might not be. Scientists today are debating whether or not there are other universes outside the one we live in. And some incidents prove the possible existence of a multiverse. Let's dive into the multiverse of madness. The common sense rules of physics that we use every day may make sense to us, but at very small scales common sense breaks down altogether. At the quantum level, the empty vacuum of space is boiling with tiny particles constantly popping in and out of existence. At a quantum level, the vanishingly tiny particles that make up the building blocks of everything don't even have a set location just a smear of possible positions dictated by complex rules of probability. Many theoretical physicists hypothesize the fact that tiny particles like electrons and photons don't have one set place in the universe is evidence that there are many parallel universes. But we don't have any conclusive evidence of the multiverse. Or do we? The answer might be staring at us all this while in plain sight. You might have heard of Schrödinger's cat. Devised in 1935 by the famous Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger, this thought experiment was designed to shine a spotlight on the difficulty with interpreting quantum theory, which states that any object like an atom or a particle that adheres to quantum rules exist in multiple states until they are observed. Here is a simplified version of the thought experiment. A living cat is placed into a steel chamber along with a hammer, a vial of hydrocyanic acid and a very small amount of radioactive substance. If even a single atom of the radioactive substance decays during the test period, a relay mechanism will trip the hammer, which will in turn break the vial of poisonous gas and cause the cat to die. So until we open the steel chamber, the probability of the cat being dead or alive is 50-50. In other words, as long as we don't look, the cat is in a state of superposition. In the many worlds interpretation of quantum law, the observer and the cat simply exist in two realities, one in which the cat is dead and one in which the cat is alive. Yes, two universes running parallel to each other. While parallel universes might seem like something dreamed up by Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to the Future, scientists say that not only are other universes likely, but they've actually seen evidence of them in the night sky. Leading cosmologist Laura Merzini Houghton says that fingerprints of these alternate universes can be identified in the cosmic background radiation at the very edges of the visible universe. And not only do these universes exist, says Professor Merzini Houghton, but some could be more habitable than the one we are currently living in. She explains that while different physical constants might prevail in another cosmos, changing the laws of physics by even quite large factors still makes those realities habitable. Our universe seems to be only borderline habitable, she said. We are sitting right at the edge between habitable and non-habitable. She further stated that the anthropic principle in physics states that we could only ever see a universe that can sustain life. If the universe were NLS habitable, we wouldn't be here to measure it. The professor explained that while working with astrophysicist Fred Adams, a distinguished professor of astrophysics, she found that you could vary the basic laws of physics by many orders of magnitude, by thousands and millions and still have universes where conditions for life to arise were prime. Accepting the reality of other universes is the natural extension of the Copernican principle, the concept that the Earth is not unique or special, and that many other planets like ours exist. 
Once we thought the Earth was the center of the universe, and then the solar system, and our galaxy were the center of the universe. Now we are finding that even our universe is just one tiny grain of dust in a much more intricate and beautiful cosmos. Quite where these other universes are, and how they might connect to ours, is a complicated question. There could be some universes that form part of the same space-time that are entangled with each other. The idea of a multiverse, once the subject of fringe scientific theories and wild science fiction stories is now mainstream. Professor Merzini Houghton says that several leading physicists are working on ways of identifying and even peering into the new realities. There has been a long prejudice against the multiverse. It is an idea that goes back to ancient Hindu and Greek beliefs. But it took a long time to push the idea into mainstream physics. And guess what? A series of predictions Professor Merzini Houghton made in 2005 have now been demonstrated to be true. She said that before the Big Bang, when all of the potential universes were crammed together in an infinitely tiny space, they would have left marks on each other, marks that can be observed today in the form of cold spots in the cosmic background radiation. And one of these cold spots, a cosmic void about 900 million light years across, was recently confirmed by two separate observations. We were the first to show how you can actually test the multiverse and that you don't need to go beyond the universe's observable horizon, she said. You can just see it in our sky. While traveling to these alternate universes could require an energy source on the scale of the Big Bang, the professor said that in the future we might discover a way to communicate with them. Who is to say that we may not conjure clever ways of communicating in the future, for example via quantum entanglement? Not long ago, we thought that due to the speed of light limit, we may never have evidence for what lies beyond our horizon. As I describe in my book, all that changed when I and my collaborators calculated and predicted how the quantum entanglement among all infant universes at the creation moment show up in our present sky as fingerprints of the multiverse. But don't rule out jumping into another reality just yet, because opening gateways to other planes of reality isn't impossible, just very, very unlikely. The wormholes that Rick and Morty travel through in the popular series would require approximately 109 billion electron volts of energy. At today's energy prices, we might be better off staying in our current cosmos, even if it is only borderline habitable. What do you guys have to say? Do you think we will ever be able to bump into another universe? I recently read Dark Matter by Blake Crouch and this is no promotion. I just absolutely loved it. Do give it a read. It's highly entertaining. So, would you like to travel to the other side of the universe or stick with us here at the edge of the universe until we meet again?